guys. So I'm back at home again. But I was in uni all week, so I thought this week I'd record a uni room tour because I had a lot of questions about what it's like at Birmingham to actually live there and which accommodation to choose. So I thought it might just be useful to show you what a, like the average room looks like. I'm living in Selly Oak Court, which is like a 15 minute walk from uni. Let's get into it. So this is the view when we enter the room. This is where I keep my shoes that I use all the time and my slides. And then here we have my little purifier. Cleans the air for me because you never know what's going through that window. I got this about two years ago and it's been my trusty little friend since then. Here we have my piano which is covered by um, a blanket. No matter how much I hoover, um, dust collects like around here and I don't want it to destroy the speaker thing here. So this is my mirror. Here's my light. It's quite cool. It's got changing things. Here around my mirror and around my board is very nice. And then here we've got a bunch of flashcards. Here is the amazing calendar. All I write here is like assignments that are due in and lectures that I have. My flashcards. We've got my laptop, which is where I was doing my questions earlier. I'm not really sure why I've got this. It just makes me feel very keen. And then my little mouse. Here is my light. It's my alarm clock as well. It's quite cool. It changes colour. Too much excitement. This blog is on fire. And then here we have my little station of random stuff. And here is my pile of unorganised stuff. So it's kind of just notes I've been in the process of making across books that I'm using. And then if we just go up a little bit, here are my folders. This is fluids, mechanics, electricity, something, materials. Not sure what that one is. Here we are. This is my little collection of stress. Here are my piano books. Um, here's my box for my blender. And then here's some more textbooks. Here is a book for UVR. Um, I'm not sure who I think I am. <laughs> um, a book that was recommended for my summer intern, my second summer internship this summer. So I've been reading that. Here's all my stuff I use. Here's just backup things like a general book that we're not actually told to get. Just random stuff. And then up here, another pile of unorganised stuff. You know in school when you're given one of these and you think, oh cool, like I don't need to bother getting a folder. Well, it's not them, it's, it's this. So I have a hundred of useless things. I'm trying to put some use to them, but I'm not finding anything. In this drawer is my little makeup guru. Like around here I've got all my scrunchies. Here is money from a country which is worth about, I think, five pence or something like that. In here is my stationery slash cosmetics drawer. In the last cupboard is socks and stuff, so if you don't need to see that. Here is my fantastic view of a landfill site. What more could I ask for? And then here's my little plant called Jerry. I love it so much. And then we move on to the cupboard. This is just an overview. Now bear in mind, I'm super extra, I have way too much. So, up here we have my bags, which have no organisation to it. It's just all my bags. So I have to climb onto my bed when I want to get some, which probably isn't that practical. My gym stuff, leggings, tops, and then here, we get to all the stuff I use regularly slash need to be hung up. So like a jacket, sweater one, sweater two, sweater three, sweater four, sweater five, sweater six, sweater seven, sweater eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, sweater two in there. 14. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a massive sweater slash hoodie geek. And then below that, we get to my pile of bottoms, my pile of PJ slash loungewear. Anyone here that actually knows me knows how obsessed I am with loungewear. I'm actually loving it. And then here, we get to my tops. I have way too many tops. Like, no human needs this many in a university season. And down here, we get to my gym towels slash towels for bathroom, tea towel, scarf, which obviously isn't needed anymore. And some more sweaters, some more sweaters, some more, it's not even okay. I have a serious problem. Who needs like 48 sweaters <laughs> when it's summer? <sighs> so we move on to the gorgeous bin. I use this as a paper bin. 
because it's quite pretty and I don't want this to get ruined. This is my wash bag, a piece of paper which is astray, and my yoga mat. And here we get to the bed. I'm leaving in like an hour, so this is the luggage at the moment. And there's another one over there. Yeah, so I'm obsessed with fluff. Anyone that knows me again, I have a serious problem. It is my little teddy that was given by a friend and this is the one I bought for myself in the university shop. I'm obsessed with this pillow, it's not okay. It's like a little animal. And then more fluffy pillows. And then my little station for lip balms. There's another one, a green version of this, underneath my bed, which I noticed like a half an hour ago, but I just I can't remember where to go get it. Here is my eye mask because this, I don't know what the hell it is, but it never turns off light-wise. And it's, per it's supposed to be a radiator, but every time I turn it on, nothing comes through. So something's gone wrong there. And then here's my books. I'm reading How to Build a Car because your girl's keen. And my favourite view, my three little posters. This keeps me sane. And these I just thought were really cool. Because here, so this, this is from January 1954. Like, that's pretty whack. And this one is from autumn 1954. I got this at the VMA, VNA, the other day. Here is the border that's supposed to go around this, but it keeps falling off. I don't want to die in the night, so we're keeping that off. Oh, we should mention this light here transports from here to here 48 times a day. Because obviously I need it in the night, but when I'm working, I need the strong light over my work. So, yeah. Down there we have a body fat percentage thing which I got for Christmas. It's really cool. It like tells you your body fat percentage, your muscle to fat ratio, everything. It's very, very cool. All, like everyone comes over and uses it all the time. Underneath my desk, we have my little heater, which obviously I'm using much less now. We have my printer, which is not really working anymore, but my life goes on. And then here are my yoga blocks which goes with my yoga mat and another pile of unorganized stuff so my I didn't ask what these are so in summary my life is an organized disorganized mess so let's go to the bathroom here we've got my soap my soap that's finished which is so sad because it was so cool my candle I'm not sure who I think I am but this is the only place I trust myself to use a open flame sinkage and here we have a bin funny story i ordered a bunch of you know little biodegradable plastic bags to go inside this bin when they came i was like is this a joke <laughs> it's like the size of my hand or whatever it does the job and here we have my favorite thing of the bathroom the towel floor it's always been my dream to have eventually a floor made of towels so this is the best we can do right now here is the toilet <laughs> And here is my amazing shower cap. Here's my bag, my like holiday bag. Just an array of random stuff. And we get to the shower. Now, they should have put pictures of the shower on the website because this would have been my straight number one choice if I, if I saw this online. And it was my number one choice, but this one swayed me even more. The shower is huge. Like, it could fit eight lizards in here. And Oh, I should have mentioned this at the beginning. <laughs> Here is my clothing rack. Well, not clothing, but like all my coats. It's always really overstocked. So I hope you enjoyed the room tour. 